So some other moves. We start with the back of the hand, and we go to the clap like this. Hand slides off, look away, look back. The next move would be something like this, where you're looking away and you point. Uh, the classic neg is, is she always like this? So she says something that I can misinterpret as being weird. I want to neg her and bring her self-esteem down a little bit. I'll go like this. I'll say, is she always like this? Okay. Mm -hmm. By negging her, I've disqualified myself as a suitor, which lets me get away with more in the escalation. The next step is hands on the shoulders. So for example, I might say, whatever, in terms of my routine, I might say, hey, blah, 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 and then I let go. Okay? It, it doesn't really matter what you're talking about. Whatever you're saying, whatever your routine is, you just have an excuse to sort of go like this while you're talking. You know, I might say, I might say, you know what, you know what I just realized about you? And then I let go. Okay? Um, another principle that I want to introduce is the idea that pulling creates resistance, which becomes associated with your touch. So, for example, if I put my hand on her shoulder, if she feels like I'm pulling towards her, she's going to resist. Which well, she is, you're pulling back right now. And then she's going to feel that sense of resistance, which is an emotion, and she's going to associate it with me, which is not good. So whenever I touch a girl, I always push just a little bit. Not because I want her to feel pushed, but rather because I want her to feel not pulled. Does that make sense? So I'll go like this. So I might say, you know what's interesting about you? It's really only a little pressure. It's only an inch or two. Yeah, of half movement. an inch. That's right. Yeah. And I'll hold her there too. I'm not just pushing her, but I'll, I'll just kind of move it out a little bit and hold it there, and then I let go. Right. Make sense? I also noticed that when you let go, you let go in a swiping motion. Can you can you uh, you know show everyone that? You mean that my yeah. hand slides You're, off? Yeah. Why do you right. do that? Um, just it's natural. I'm very loose. I'm sort of loose and comfortable with my touch. I don't want it to feel stilted or technical. I don't want it to feel robotic. Right. You know, I don't want it to look like I thought about it. That's yeah. the key. Install Kino now. That's <laughs> right. That's right. I don't want it to look like this, you know, this, it should be the same as I am right now. You know, like, yeah. hey, check this out. Now, the, know, whatever. I, the idea is, like as, I didn't notice it. The idea is, as I see it, to at the beginning of the set, near the beginning, show everyone that you're just a touchy person. And that's when later on in the set, maybe three to five minutes later, you can then have plausible deniability right. for any of your Kino escalation. That's right. Because you're already just like a touchy guy. Right. Not a gropey guy, but a touchy guy. But it doesn't look like I'm trying to get something. Exactly. Like if I go into a set and there's a guy there, I should touch the guy. Hey, man, how's it going? You know, if I go in there and I don't touch anybody and I stand there without touching and then at some point I want to take her hand, you know, yeah, it's such it's a barrier, so it's such a, a difference. It reminds me of kissing. Mm -hmm. Same, Same thing, thing with kissing, you know. Here you haven't even held her hand. Don't expect a woman to want to kiss you, right? There is a progression in Kino escalation, you know, right. step by step. So with kissing, what, what some guys will do is they won't even hold hands, nothing. Now the day two happens, and perhaps the day three happens, and now he wants to go for the kiss. It becomes this big hurdle as if kissing is a big deal. You know, kissing's fun, kissing's easy, right? So why not start with touch early, get her used to your, your touch, escalate to hugging, right? If a girl isn't going to hug you, she feels uncomfortable with that, you have to get her comfortable with that first before you can start going for the kiss, right? There has to be an escalation and it has to take place pretty much 15 seconds in. You're right, it, immediately, from the very opening of the set, I should be touching. And there should never be some big moment. That moment at the end of the day, with a kiss, the big awkward moment, there should never be some big moment. It should never be some big deal. Right. Whenever I'm kissing a girl, it should be natural and normal. It should seem like the natural thing for us to do, and it should seem like we're basically at that level of physical comfort anyway, that it's sort of just an afterthought. It's no big deal. There's no physical move should be some big deal because I've been doing little bits of keno escalation with pushaways the whole time. How many, in your learned opinion, I, I, I have a feeling for the answer, how many escalations and roll-offs, escalation, roll-off, escalation, roll-off, escalation, roll-off, from meat to sex? 
Oh. Courtship. You mean specific moves or specific instances? Yeah, how many, approximately, how many specific instances do you find yourself using in like, a typical Full Monty set? To get to sex, I would say about 30, 30 moves. 30 moves. I was going to say 30 to 40 moves myself. Yeah. I was actually going to say 30 to 50, but... Right. Because I think to myself, you know, is let's that... A, let's is that agree just on my, 40 then. Well, is that just my perception? Or if I actually recorded myself, maybe I do it, you know, there's 100 moves or something. Or right, moves, right. It seems like about 30. Uh, that's exactly. Fair. Okay. So what are some other, what are some other cliche, stereotypical moves that we use in the community? Um, a big one is thumb wrestling. It's a very, very easy way to, to get more of a playful vibe between you and the girl. And it's completely innocent. Um, so for example, I might say, let me see your hand. I go like this, I go like this. Notice I'm leading one step at a time. We'll get back to that. Okay, and I go one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Okay, now we get start getting competitive. She's getting into it. Look at that look on her face. Right? Um, oh. <laughs> Usually what I would recommend is to cheat and win by cheating. And then she'll get all pissed off and punch your arm, and so, which is exactly right. If she's punching your arm, then you're doing it right. Um, the next move is the spin move, which is guaranteed to create a smile. Now these are all in field within the first three minute routines right now, oh, yeah. right? These aren't later Kino on a day yeah. two. These are the ones that you can begin with. Well, even Just to get her comfortable with touch as being a normal thing. Even within the first five or 10 minutes, I should be able to be pulling your hair and biting your neck. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, it's not difficult at all. Uh, so for example, the spin move, I'm gonna introduce a, a principle here, which, which is basically to always lead one step at a time. Okay, for example, sit down for a second. Okay, if I'm talking to some girl, I, I shouldn't be standing while she's sitting, by the way, normally in a set. I should be sitting with her, or she should be standing with me. But in any case, let's say that I wanna stand her up and spin her around. I'm not gonna say, uh, let's do a spin, stand up. Like, I'm not gonna do that, because I'm asking her to, to give me too much compliance. When you ask for a lot of compliance, she's forced to say no. Does that make sense? If I ask her for too much, even if she wants to do it, she's forced to say no because it makes her look like she's giving it away too easily, which makes her feel slutty. Girls hate to feel slutty. So what you do is you ask for small bits of compliance, one little step at a time. So in, for example, I would go like this. I would say, I would hold up my own hand and look at it. And I'd say, oh, that's interesting. Hold up your hand. Let me see it. Now stand up for a second. Okay, now do a little spin. Very nice. Look at that. I'm sweating. Very nice. Uh, and, and then I'll say that's what you get for being good. That's good for flash game too, because when you're right. with women, adjacent groups of people with women in them, that's right. you see that you are pre-selected and you're having a good time. You're becoming the moment. That's right. You're either <laughs> the observed or the observing when you're in a public gathering, right? And that's an important point. This, you become the observed. So in the bar, you constantly have these little moments going off. And there are some people that are part of those moments, and there are some people that are sitting on the sidelines watching those moments, the observers or the observed. So, for example, you've got the guy who spins the girl around, everyone around will see that. Everyone around will turn, and it'll be registered in their unconscious mind. And then there's the guy who kind of sits, sits by the wall holding his drink in front of his chest and watches those kinds of moments. Uh, it's, it's actually a really good trick to set yourself up to look really attractive and then have something happen to where everyone looks. This is a trick that mystery uses like crazy. For example, let's say that he's standing there. If he's standing by himself and someone takes a picture of him and the flash goes off, everyone turns and sees him by himself, then it drops his value. Whereas what he's going to do is he's going to arrange himself to where there's girls standing around, looking at him, playing with their hair, smiling at him. And right then the camera flash goes off. Everyone in the venue turns for a second, and there's him surrounded by women. That image is burned into everyone's mind. That's why we call it flash game. But yeah. you don't need a camera to play flash game. You could grab two women, right, getting two pivots, getting them on your arms, leaning up against the bar, and over your shoulder, opening the, the uh, bartender with A3 already, where you're in qualifying. You've already got attraction done because you've got two girls in your arms. That's flash game. You can heat up an adjacent set just by, uh, you know, by demonstrating that you have women with you now.
That's flash game. You don't need a camera.